Doug Adler made his name in the world of tennis, calling matches for ESPN, and before that, as an ace on the court. But you won't find much of that after a quick Google search. I need to know what is it like for you to Google your own name and see the word racism used in the same sentence as Doug Adler? Yeah, it just makes me absolutely sick. Never been a racist, have never looked at color, have never even thought of that term until this whole situation. That situation began earlier this year during the Australian Open. Adler calling a match between Venus Williams and Switzerland's Stephanie Vergola. Venus was just too good. She was just too good. So in the second set, it became apparent to me what Venus was doing. Adler says he noticed Williams employing an especially aggressive style of play. That led him to make this fateful comment. And you'll see Venus move in and put the gorilla effect on, charging. To some viewers, it was clear they just heard an ESPN commentator comparing one of the world's top tennis players, an African American, to a gorilla. Spell the word gorilla in that sentence. G U E R R I L L A. So, gorilla like gorilla warfare. Yes. Not G-O-R-I-L-L-A. Nothing to do with an animal. Everything to do with tactics, strategy, how to win the point. Two words that sound similar, but have very different meanings. Anger quickly mounted on social media. But Adler says he didn't hear about the controversy until the next day, when his boss told him he'd been branded a racist. I said, you've got to be kidding me. And he said, it's unbelievable. He says, he said, we all know what you meant. The gorilla effect. Is that a common phrase in tennis? It's been used for decades. Perhaps most famously in this iconic Nike ad from 1995, starring Andre Agassi and Pete Sampras. The ad's name, Gorilla Tennis. Those are two white tennis players. Did it ever occur to you that that term would not be appropriate when referring to or describing an African-American or black tennis player? No. No, never. When asked about Adler's comment days later, Venus Williams said this. I pay attention and address situations that are noteworthy. So you took that to mean this was no big deal, you'd done nothing wrong? That's exactly the way I read into it. It was nothing. But amid the uproar, ESPN asked Adler to apologize on air. The network itself issued a statement saying, Doug Adler should have been more careful in his word selection. He apologized and we've removed him from his remaining assignments. Adler says the very next day, he was fired. I think if people listen to the simple facts here, they're gonna shake their head, Doug, and they're gonna say, there had to be another reason. Were you a pain in the ass to work with? Were you not well liked? I don't think so. Why would they have hired me for, for nine, ten straight years? Now, Adler is suing the company, claiming wrongful termination. It would not have happened to John McEnroe. It would not have happened to Martina Navratilova. They would have put the time, the energy, and the resources into defending those people because they did nothing wrong. Adler became consumed with social media, spending hours responding to every single one of his critics. 20 hours a day, no food no sleep, obsessed and passionate to get my name back and my reputation. I believed I had to do that. What toll did that take on you, that process? <laughs> I had a heart attack. Now, Adler has found a powerful ally in David Dinkins, the avid tennis fan and former New York City mayor. Does it make a difference when the term is applied or something similar? To black? Yeah, when an African-American no, player. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It should not have been taken that way by anybody. ESPN is part of a very big company, right? Disney. And they have a responsibility to their shareholders. If they feel you said something either on purpose or by accident that cast them in a bad light, don't they have the right to say thanks but no thanks? We'll end this right here. If they're doing the right thing, if they have good cause to do it, they have the right but they didn't have good cause, and I didn't do anything wrong. Why did you file the lawsuit? They killed me. They made me unemployable. They ended my career. 
They killed my reputation, my good name. What else was I supposed to do? Do you see a day where you'll be able to, and, and I note this, this anger in you, do you see a time where you'll be able to live without that anger? I hope so. I'm trying to live without it now. I agree there is a great degree of anger there, and I'm not happy about the anger. And until I think that I've proven fairly that I didn't do anything wrong, I think it's going to sit with me. ESPN says to this day they're not 100% sure which word Adler intended to use. They deny all the allegations in the lawsuit, telling us, quote, Adler made an inappropriate reference to Venus Williams for which he felt no apology was necessary. We disagree and stand 100% behind our decision to remove him from the 2017 Australian Open. A representative for Venus Williams declined to issue a comment. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.